My name is Gavin Evans and this is my ranking of Julius Avery's filmography from worst to best. So in last place is the movie Son of a Gun. This movie I watched a month ago and I don't remember a single thing about it. I remember Ewan McGregor is the only serviceable aspect of it, but everything else is just mind-numbingly boring. There's nothing new or original about it. I thought Branson Swartz gives a really bad performance. I didn't like Alicia Vikander and their romance I couldn't care less about. And I always say that the worst thing a movie can be isn't laughably bad, because at least it's memorable. The worst thing a movie can be is completely forgettable. Just a movie that you watch and you never think about again. Those are the worst kind of movies and this movie falls into that category. So that's why it's in last place. My second favorite or second least favorite, depends on how you view it, favorite movie of Julius Avery's is Samaritan. And this is a movie that I didn't really care for at all. I was looking forward to see Sylvester Stallone playing a tired, worn out, Ex superhero. I thought that was a really great idea, but the movie just doesn't tap into that potential enough. I don't think any of the performances are good, and that includes Sylvester Stallone, who gives some of his worst acting ever. It's also terribly directed with some of the most goofy, over the top action sequences that don't fit the tone of this movie, and it just took me out of it time and time again. Like he punches a guy and he just falls down in the most dramatic, over-the-top way possible, and I just found it to be so silly. The editing is bad, it should have been R-rated. I like what it's going for in certain areas, but as a whole, it just falls completely flat, and that's why it's my second least favorite. But my favorite movie of his, by a long shot, it's not even close, it's the reason why I watched the other two movies, and it's Overload. Like the other two, I don't care for at all. And this movie isn't just a small step up. It's not just an okay, serviceable movie. No, it's freaking great. I love this movie. And the thing that shocks me is that it's memorable. It's really well directed. It's got great performances. It's everything the other movies aren't. So it just feels like the, it's the one that stands out. Like... Julius Avery made three movies and one of these don't belong with the others. And this is the one that doesn't belong because it's so freaking good. Like to tell this story about a man who stuck behind enemy lines in World War II and turned that into a zombie war movie is such a fantastic idea and I love seeing it executed to perfection. I think this movie has amazing sound design. I think it's really well shot. It is very tense with some incredibly gross moments that just really get under my skin. I think you got yourself a great villain who's built up to very well. You got yourself some nice brutal action. You've got yourself some really good performances, especially Palau Ass Back and Wyatt Russell, who I think gave a really good performance for the kind of movie this one is. And it's just a movie that I have a ton of fun with. You know, I think it delivers something unique. I think it's entertaining. It's a total blast. It's just every, like, what happened to this guy? Like, really? He has this one great movie, and I watched Son of a Gun, and it's completely forgettable, and Samaritan didn't impress me either. So, is he just a one-hit wonder? Because I hope not, because you see lots of promise and potential here, and I hope with his next movie, we see that promise being lived up to because it'd be a shame to just watch this one movie and have it be it. So anyways, that's why Overload is my favorite movie of the three. And what are your ranking of Julius Avery movies? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.